special guest, Dana. This week we are going to be celebrating National German Chocolate Cake Day. My favorite. Her favorite. The National German Chocolate Cake Day is Friday the 11th. Um, so we are going to be making a German chocolate snack cake with a chocolate, uh, not chocolate, I'm sorry, a coconut pecan frosting. Mm -hmm. I found this recipe on, um, on simplyrecipes.com. It was contributed by Cindy, so thank you, Cindy. Thank you. And this will be the first time I've ever made a German chocolate cake from scratch. Me so too. hopefully Me it too. turns out good for me. If not, we do know how to make icing, and we will get our <laughs> yeah, we'll sweet to fill with some <laughs> icing. Let's get started. Up first, preheat the oven. 350 degrees, y'all. Yeah, 350. <laughs> so this particular cake, um, instead of being a, a round layered cake, calls to be cooked in a 13 by 9 baking dish, so that's what we'll be doing. Makes life simple, in my opinion. So. I also specifically look for a simple cake recipe because I was not all about having to add the yolks one at a time. And right. The, no. <laughs> no. We don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time You for see that. it's dark out there. <laughs> We're, dark time. We're cooking this at dark time, y'all. Alright, so first step first. I did not read ahead the recipe like I usually do. We might be in trouble. <laughs> the ingredients. The ingredients. What, so, what do we have here, Nicole? So, ta -da! today you're going to need. So today you're going to need all purpose flour, unsweetened cocoa, baking powder and baking soda, kosher salt, a cup of boiling water unsweetened baking chocolate, espresso powder, which is optional, it just brings out the flavor of the chocolate a little bit more, regular sugar, eggs, canola oil, vanilla extract, evaporated milk, brown sugar, unsalted butter, which is still in the refrigerator, shredded coconut, and chopped pecan. Preheat the oven, which I'm doing now. How do you say, I already did that in Spanish? Jesus. She oh, doesn't tell him. She doesn't Jesus. 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 You know how we say that in Blaine County? Done. She done did it. <laughs> we say, ja. Ja. And ja. you don't want to grease <laughs> your dish. <laughs> And everything else, just to be yeah. sure. For easy cleanup. <laughs> I'm sorry. Step two is combine your dry ingredients. We're going to combine our flour, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Mm. So, as y'all might have seen in previous videos, um, when measuring your flour, instead of scooping your measuring cup into the flour, mm. so as to prevent getting too much, it is better to spoon your flour into the measuring cup. That way you don't end up with too much flour and then a dry cake or bread or whatever it is you're making. She's an expert. Hmm? She's an expert. Yes, expert. Expert level. So two cups of your all-purpose flour. What do you want me to do, Nicole? <laughs> you can gladly take over. No. Yeah, you're doing all the fun. What are you doing? Do, do you want to take over? Take over? Yeah. Take over. Use your knife. Level out your flour. Because <laughs> when baking, you have to be exact. Smooth. Follow the Smooth. recipe. You have to be exact? Yes, you don't want to mess with a baking recipe. It's like a science. Y'all are slacking on the movie suggestions. Help mm. us. Yeah, what do y'all like to watch? What do y'all watch? Do y'all like scary movies, funny movies? Action. Action. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you like? I like all of the above. Listen, I sat at home by my happy
like yourself the other day and watched Mulan and Pocahontas. Let, let's not go to what I love. Nice. Good relaxing I, I, day. I still like me some Disney movies. I can't. I can't help it. Nothing wrong with that. You told us you see Cruella. Cruella. Cruella, Cruella. is good, y'all. I watched it too. And Cruella is a good movie. Good movie. Yes. I'm not mad that I paid to watch it. Me either. Mm -mm. So, so we got our flour. Oh, we're supposed to sift. We're not sifting. We're supposed to sift. If you don't have a sifter, listen. I got a sifter? Listen. What you can do afterwards is when you got all your dry ingredients in there, just take a fork, give it a really, really good swoosh. 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 It's a technical term. Swoosh. Swoosh. You might see it in some cookbooks. Or, you know what, let's use a whisk. It'll swoosh it even better. Nothing but love in this household. Alright, so now a quarter cup of cocoa powder, which I noticed you have two open containers of cocoa powder in your paper. I'm cuckoo for cocoa powder. Apparently. It does say a quarter <laughs> cup, right? Yes, one quarter cup unsweetened cocoa powder. To me, Hershey's is the only brand of cocoa powder you use, whatever you like, though. And Aunt Jean sent us some recipes that she we're going to try. There's some good chicken casseroles and stuff, so we're going to plan mm -hmm. that out. Meatloaf, Mississippi mud pie. She sent us a bunch of good stuff. We're mm -hmm. excited to try. Mm -hmm. And then the baking powder and baking soda and salt. If y'all are ever in a recipe such as this that calls for baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and you're out of baking soda, what I have learned is that you can double your baking powder and omit the salt and get a fairly similar result. And it turns out mm. beautifully. Good tip. And then half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, we originally only had regular salt in the pantry. And I googled if you could substitute in baking. And you can, but if you're using regular salt instead of kosher salt, you have to reduce the amount. So I just went and bought kosher salt. So we're going kosher, guys. So we would have it. And thank you to Charlotte. Nothing's gonna stick to our kosher salt. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Whisk together the dry ingredients. Mm, that smells good. Dana. Dana. In a measuring cup, combine Honey. boiling water, chocolate, and espresso. Cover and let the hot water melt the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and whisk until smooth. I couldn't find actual es powdered espresso at the store, but we already had this in the pantry. So we're going to give this a shot and just hope that it works out. Last week when we did the... Um, baked chicken in the oven with olive oil and the citrus seasoning. It was so good. Those, Those vegetables, vegetables were oh, perfect. Yes. The They were still a little bit crunchy, which I like. Right, me too. But if you like them softer, you could always take, if the chicken's done, take the chicken out, put the vegetables back in the oven. You're right. good to go. But it was so good. Perfect. And so easy. Mm-hmm. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Pouring this over. That's the boiling water going in with the chocolate and espresso. And then we'll cover and let it sit for about 10 minutes, just long enough to let the chocolate get good and melted. Red as my cheeks when I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so but you, you can, can put it in there. You want to use the restaurant? Do you like that because it has a little... Yeah. <laughs> First. That's a ball, Tupperware. Link below. <laughs> so this looks like it's pretty good milk. <laughs> set! We let the water and chocolate <laughs> mixture set for about seven minutes. I'm whisking it up. It seems to be pretty well melted. And how's that smell, Nicole? You <sighs> need to make it. You yeah. guys need to make this. And make it like use the espresso powder. Yes. Mm. Mm. Use it. So, in a separate bowl, we're going to combine the chocolate water with the sugar, eggs, oil, and vanilla extracts. Dana. That's me. 
<laughs> in this bowl. In this bowl. We need. We need ready? Two cups of sugar. Two cups of sugar. <laughs> and then four eggs. Four eggs. Four eggs. Four eggs. You should always crack your eggs in a separate container. That way, if you get any shells. Right. You can get it out before you pour it into your mixture. Yes, because you don't want shell in your cake. Cuatro mm huevos. -hmm. I can say cuatro huevos. Cuatro huevos. You go to six. Together. Yes, it's a team effort. I can't even break the egg. Like my granddaddy taught me how to do it with one hand. Expert That's, level. Yes, expert level. Alright, so we Thanks, got Mom. sugar. <laughs> <laughs> one cup of the canola oil. Just one? One cup. One cup. Yes, there is a difference between dry measuring cups <laughs> and liquid measuring cups. Even. It's a little lower, but it's acceptable. It's acceptable. <laughs> Cole says it's acceptable. That'll do. Vanilla. So we need two teaspoons of the vanilla. Two teaspoons. And don't skimp on the vanilla. And please splurge and buy the pure vanilla. Such a huge difference. mixture, the dry ingredients. It's the same sound. Mix until combined, scraping occasionally. Y'all give me this task and you know, both of you know. She what? likes to jump ahead. She likes to skip steps. I skip steps. It's her favorite. And I make a mess. <laughs> and they let me do the most messiest we part. We trust you. Nothing's going to beat the Watergate salad. <laughs> That's good. Oh, it says until <laughs> See? <laughs> it says until <laughs> See? You can't trust me with the mixer. <laughs> so the next step is to bake the cake. So we are pouring the batter into our greased baking dish. And cleaning up a bit. And that too. This case is going to go in the oven for about 25 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick or other thing inserted in the middle comes out clean. This is good. 20 minutes. Three egg yolks, eight ounces of the evaporating milk, one and a half cups of lightly packed brown sugar. Four ounces of unsalted butter. Four ounces, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, two and a half cups of sweetened shredded coconut, and then one and a half cups of chopped pecans. First step in making the frosting. We're gonna to mix together the egg yolks, the evaporated milk, and the brown sugar in a saucepan. We're gonna add the butter and warm over medium high heat. Stirring constantly until the mixture thickens or about 10 minutes. Yummy. We're going to try the bottle pack. Oh, that's cool. And then you shake it. And you just plop it out. And you just plop it out. 
Oh, it gets out of the thing. Mm -hmm. Squeeze it. Yep, there you go. Oh! Oh, don't bust it. Don't bust it. Did I bust it? Oh. Nope. <gasps> That's so fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We need one. Uno mas. Yay! Look, it's like Mickey Mouse. Now, if you if y'all need to make a meringue for anything, look at there. And that we need our evaporated milk, only eight ounces. They didn't have eight ounce cans; they only had five and twelve. So, here we go. Note to y'all who might run out of milk when you're making your coffee and only have a can of evaporated milk: it makes decent creamer. I accidentally discovered this not too long. It does not make decent chalky milk, though. No. It's all going into the saucepan on the stove. What's next? And the brown sugar. So we need one and a half cups of lightly packed brown sugar. Put in for a video. Make sure you mm -hmm. got a good angle. You don't need to do this, but it's fun. So to make the frosting, you got to whisk together the egg yolks, evaporated milk, and the brown sugar in the pan. And then you need to add the butter and warm it over a medium high heat, stirring it constantly until the mixture thickens. So mm -hmm. you need to stir it for about 10 minutes. I know that sounds like an arm workout if you don't have a, what's it called? Tricep? A, uh, a bicep? No, what? A mixer. Mixer, a mixer. So it's like a workout. And then you gotta remove from the, you gotta remove it from the heat and stir in the vanilla and the salt, followed by the coconut and the pecans. Mm -hmm. So there is coconut and pecans, two of my least favorite things. Oh, get rich. All right, so we're gonna put this on the stove top and then add the butter. I wanna, I wanna cut it off. We're gonna stir it constantly until the mixture thickens for about 10 minutes, and then we'll remove it from the heat and stir in the vanilla, salt, and then the coconut and the pecan. <laughs> check the cake. We need to check the cake. Ooh. Oh, it's definitely not done yet. Mm -mm. All right, we're gonna give it another five. Start with that and then check after that. needs to cool anyways. Set that. And vanilla. One teaspoon of the vanilla. Oops. <laughs> Oops. It happens. It happens. There's never not enough vanilla. It happens. Pecans. Pecans. Look at that. Ooh, my favorite. That was exciting. So now we just need to let everything cool so that we can spread the icing on the cake. So Paula, are you going to ice this? Ice. Ice, maybe. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. All right, Scott. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with his brand new invention. Not. <laughs> criminal undercover. Oh. Let me take this off. You're not gonna put all of it in that one spot. I'm not going to. I'm gonna spread it out. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit over here. <laughs> this is not a professional way to ice cake. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's an art, y'all. All right. I got Good it. Job. Good job. Nope. <laughs> Can you see my enthusiasm? 
Who's gonna be the first case tester? I volunteer. As tribute. tribute. You want just the middle piece, Charlotte? You cut yourself out that middle piece. Woohoo! <laughs> that would be like the first piece to go. I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel good. It's not even a birthday. Oh. oh. <gasps> so good. <laughs> the cake. The cake was oh, pretty darn it's good. It's amazing. I it's don't delicious. even like German chocolate cake, and I enjoy it. He doesn't like coconuts or pecans. And I eat all of it. No. He ate the patooties out of it. I, you have to try it. No. Yes. You have try. to try. You are. need to try. Yes. It's a lot of work. Though. It's not that much work. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad. It took a while, but it was not difficult. It, it was wasn't. pretty, pretty dang simple. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget yeah. like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.